Hey, welcome to Feature Friday. I want to show a um, brand new feature, Ticket Worksheets. This is amazing. It's like a checklist, but so much more. Um, it hooks into ticket types, which you may or may not be using. Um, it's also called Ticket Custom Fields. Um, you can create ticket custom field types. These are like a uh, category that have custom fields on them. Um, let's play with one here. Maybe clean up. This will have some custom fields on it. These are more like a checklist, um, which isn't exactly what custom fields were meant for. So um, what we're going to do is try and recreate this with the worksheet feature. So from the admin page, go to Ticket Worksheets. And here you can create a worksheet template. Um, another name for worksheet it could be checklist, so if that's easier to think about. Um, we'll say clean up, create worksheet template. Um, so you've got some settings here. Public means it'll be able to show up on the PDF if you have the tag. Um, if you need the tag, you can go reset your ticket template and it should pop in there. Um, it's also listed on the side. It'll say worksheet in it. Um, so now you can say which ticket custom field type will automatically get this worksheet. I'm going to put it on the cleanup one. So if we create a ticket with the custom fields clean up, it's automatically going to pop this worksheet on that ticket. Um, if you want, some people do a before and after, or even a pre, post, and then QA. Maybe you need three copies of a worksheet um, attached to a ticket. You could give them all different names right here. We'll say like pre clean up, post clean up. QA clean up. So we've given it a couple names. We'll click update there to save that. So now when we create a ticket with this type, it's going to put three copies of this worksheet right on that ticket. Um, they'll show up on the template. So let's say, what are we going to do in our cleanup? First, we'll dust off. Um, if you want to use drop downs for pass fail, you can do that. You can also put any drop down answers you want in there. You can also do checkbox. I'll just do a couple simple um, checkbox. So that pops in up there. I've got kind of a small browser here because I'm doing my video. Um, dust off, wipe screen. Um, maybe in a cleanup, you. Install AV software. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Keep this simple. Um, maybe one more. Um, complete AV scan. And we'll do a pass fail on this one. Again, you can add whatever answers you want, but I'll just put a pass fail in there. And this is now ready to go. So let's see it in action. Let's get a customer. Get a new ticket. Computer needs cleanup. And we're going to select that custom field type, cleanup. And it's still got the old custom fields in there. Once we migrate to the worksheet, we could actually delete these or delete the custom field type. Um, one thing to note there is when you delete a custom field type. Um, this didn't used to work, but now if you do, all your historical tickets using that custom field type will not be affected. So it's safe to do. So we've created it. We've got an intake form on here. Um, once you're on the ticket, you can see the worksheets. Here's the pre, the post, and the QA. So I'm an admin. I get to see all the buttons. I've got the delete button. Um, We've got public private, we've got checkboxes, we've got history buttons, um, and finalize. So a couple different things I want to show in general. Um, there's a minimize. If you minimize and like refresh or go away and come back to this ticket, it'll remain minimized. So if you've got a bunch of worksheets on here and um, maybe you're done with them, that's what that's for. I'm going to leave this expanded. You can add another copy of a worksheet. It'll pop right into the bottom. Um, this is all live updating. We're starting to do a lot more live update stuff, as you might see, going around the app. Um, 
if another person in another browser has this um, ticket open on their screen, they will see all these changes happen live as well, just like in Google Docs, everything's totally live. So if I check this box um, here on another screen, if you have this window open, you'll see that checked. You'll see the person's name there that checked it. And now there's a history link. So maybe you'll um, uncheck it and recheck it. Now an admin or a manager later can come click and see, oh, someone changed this. Here's the timestamp. Here's what they changed it to. You can close that history. So um, there's some new permissions that come with this. Let me see if I can quickly get to the um, security groups. We'll just edit one of these and I'll show you worksheets is um, ticket worksheets add delete and manage are the new permissions manage will let them see history and finalize and unfinalize um, manage also lets you like any ticket edit can fill out the worksheets um, so I'll show you what the finalize does here so I'm a tech I'm doing the pre so I do this I do this I do this I let this run it passes now I click finalize because I'm done with this. If I don't have manage permission, this will be finalized and frozen and this button doesn't appear, the delete button doesn't appear, and public private doesn't appear. So I'm done. I can't do anything with this now. And only a manager, if needed, a manager could come back and unfinalize. So this means when your texts are done, um, someone looking at a you know old worksheet won't accidentally click it and mess with your old historical data. You've got a nice way for most of your staff to not be able to mess with old complete ones but if someone does need to you can just unfinalize and you're all good you can edit um, so finalize is in there public private um, if you toggle this it'll show up or not show up on the PDF I'll show you briefly what that PDF looks like I think I've got the default tag in there now um, yeah so here's some worksheets um, I'm going to delete the phone repair one off because it's messing with my style. Let's look at that large one again. Um, so worksheets, pre, QA, post. Um, you can see check, 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 pass. Um, so those look good. You can go in there in your template in the HTML editor and um, tweak the column widths for these to make more or less show up. In a row so right now we've got three wide that's the default if you've got a bunch of long text in there you only want two wide you can change these columns from basically 33% to 50% and then you'll have two in a row so that's an advanced um, thing you can do in your template editor most people will want to probably ignore that um, so I've shown public private um, just show what it does when I make a couple private look at the template they won't show up just the one that's public hopefully that's um, kind of what you expected from how we usually do public private in repair shopper um, and I think that's it for now just be sure to check out the real-time functionality of this if you've got a couple people working on a big job and you've got a big worksheet in here um, everyone can use it at once and no one steps on each other because everyone's screens are always updating. Um, it's pretty slick. Hope you have fun with this. Have a good one.